You sort of feel like someone is going to tap you on your shoulder and say, oh, we made a mistake. I was afraid to speak out. I was afraid that whatever I said wouldn't be smart enough. At times I thought of leaving that first semester, that maybe I just, really the first day I almost turned around and left. You're not sure you fit in. You're not confident you can make it because you're the first one to do it. There's people around you with better vocabularies and, and knowledge backgrounds that I was lacking. And that's difficult. I'm the daughter of a mom and dad who are immigrants from Mexico. My father worked for Frito-Lay. He delivered chips. Neither had finished high school, so they, they weren't, I think, exactly sure what this meant. Each of my parents were farm kids, and each were very poor. They grew up in a war-torn country where colleges and universities are a luxury. I wanted the opportunity to get outside of my neighborhood. I knew I wasn't going to go back without a college degree. I realized that it matters that I'm here and that for certain people, my, my presence and what I bring to this job makes a huge difference. It's important that we help first-gen students feel more comfortable because a lot of first-gen students are from underrepresented groups and those students should not be underrepresented. It makes it so much easier to fully participate and contribute when you feel that you belong. I'm grateful that I didn't have parents who had PhDs and this was all laid out for me so that I could figure things out myself. And I, and I like that better. So what I would say to a first gen student, congratulations, because you made it. And so you should be so proud of yourself that you're here. I've had a wonderful career and a great life. And I would like to make sure that other capable young people who come from first gen fam families have the support they need. We do want to show them how far they can go. I'm very happy to be that person who can accompany one of the students on their way to graduation. Now I have students who are professors. That's crazy. I want students to be able to look around the room and see other people like them. But more important than that, I want them to be able to look at the front of the room and see somebody who looks like them.